Okay, y'all. So I have made it to Kroger. It's like 610, 605. That's how you know. That's how you know you're really adulting when you get when you actually get excited about getting up this early to run to the grocery store to grab items that you forgot to get. Um, so yes, I'm at the grocery store. I think I need barbecue sauce, I need vinegar, I need some applesauce. Because your girl grilling today. Your girl is grilling. Um, I think I'm going to grab some more ice. Vinegar, barbecue sauce. Vinegar, barbecue sauce, applesauce. Baby, because I be going into the store without a list and I start grabbing stuff. And I don't I don't want to do that because I, I went to the store yesterday. And then last night when I was thinking about like all my ingredients, what I need, I just I forgot that I um forgot minor stuff. So hopefully this is gonna be a quick in and out in and out. Um so yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. I don't know if this is a good deal, but we Y'all, I always get the basket that needs a tuna. And this is why I like coming to Kroger so early because ain't nobody in here. Or a couple folks, but you know what I mean. This better be good or I'm bringing it straight back. Okay, thank you. You too, thank you. All right, y'all. So today your girl is cooking, cooking. So today I'm gonna make some grilled ribs, greens for the first time, sweet potatoes, and macaroni and cheese. And I'll be having to pray over my macaroni and cheese because sometimes it don't be turning out right. Um, it be a little dry. So I'm about to prep, I'm about to put my hair up, 
Hopefully I got some extra gloves. I meant to actually grab some gloves when I was in the store, but I completely forgot. That's why it's important to um, make you a list before you go to the store, so you don't have to, you don't, you're not like me. You gotta go multiple times because you be forgetting stuff. Um, so yeah, your girl about to throw down to do it. <laughs> y'all i'm not working with nothing fancy don't mind the grill the fire is getting ready to burn all of that um so yeah so i have my paper towel with oil so i don't use any lighter fluid or anything like that so i got my paper towel with oil this is going to be my um no heat side just my smoke side this is going to be my heat side, so I'm getting ready to crank up the fire. And doing it this, this way, I will say, it does take some time. So you're going to have to work with it. But once it gets going, it gets going.
And normally I use some newspaper, but I don't have any newspaper right now, so this is going to take me a little minute. So I'm getting ready to work with this right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but let me see. Basically, you want to start a grease fire. Let me see. So do you see how that fire is underneath that coal right there? So that's why I started in the corners, hoping that the fire would get in there. So basically, that's what you want. So now I'm going to leave it alone. See that? Yes, baby. And I'm going to let it do its thing. And I'm getting ready to start. Start on the next piece.
All right, so now I'm just gonna let the heat kill all this. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I'm gonna let the heat clean some of this and then I'll be back to scrub it. Alright y'all, moving too fast. I forgot to trim the fat. Take this fatty piece off. I don't know what it's called. I'm about to take it off. I'm wondering what can you use this leftover meat for? I wish I could save this to see if my dad can use this for something. But anyway. Don't be like me, move too fast, and forget to trim up the ribs. I'm going to take this fat piece off of it. Mm. I mean, you want to take a lot of this fat off. Well, I am. You don't have to take it off. But I am. Now, it's not going to look the best because I'm an expert. I think these are like the biggest ribs I've had to handle. So now, I'm just about to take them in. This little piece. You really can't see what I'm doing. But just don't want to work.
but you won't like uh, to get off the I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference. So see how I just took this off? This one I have not cut. Granted, ignore all the um must actually hold on. Let me get this off. Right. Can you see the difference? Slight difference. Not the best cut, but you know, again, I'm not a butcher. Just and y'all don't be scared, like. Do not be scared. Everybody has to start somewhere. Uh, when I first started, like ribs was really, really cheap or inexpensive, I should say. Um, normally, you can find your ribs on sale, like during the holiday, um, especially kicking off like 4th of July or, you know, the summer months. So from there, I was like, you know, these prices... I'm okay if I, with these prices, I'm okay if I mess these ribs up. Like, I won't feel any type of way. Um, so, that is what encouraged me to start grilling and grilling ribs. So, I'll be back. So... I don't know if you can see this, but this is basically what I'm ripping up. And this one's kind of easy peasy. So I'm getting ready to take my napkin to make it a little bit easier and then pull this right on up. And just a reminder, I accidentally started before cutting this up. So ignore all this mustard. So it's not the best. And I can cut some of these off. Like I can cut this one off. I can cut this one off. But that's too much. So these are the back of the ribs. This is what it's looking like.
this is the seasoning that I'm going to use. And baby, this is spicy. This is not for the week. I'm just going to let you know. This is the seasoning that I'm using. Um, Famous Days Devil's um, Spit. This ain't, this ain't for the week, baby. So if you don't like spicy food, I do not recommend it. Like, I'm talking about spicy, spicy. And really with this one, a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. This is what we're looking like so far. I'm gonna season it up some more and I'll be back. I can't how this happened, but Lord, my chill side and caught on fire. So let me fix this now. Feel like running to the store, so hopefully my pan don't burn up. Okay, that looks better. 